So hi everyone, this is Jessica from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a 100% walkthrough for Airy Broken Memories. So now from this point onwards, there is a full spoiler warning in effect because we show you the game from start to finish, even though there's not a huge amount of story. And as part of this video, we're going to show you how to get every single achievement along the way. The general premise of the game is very much like the last one, you are a bird. If you crash, you get sent back to the beginning of the level, and you pretty much just fly around and you collect up feathers. Uh, each level has a varying amount of feathers that you need to collect, but once you've collected them all for that section, you'll finish the level and you will move on to the next one. It's the same as last time, very much the same again, uh, however, it's still a nice little game. So we're going to start off with a level called Snow Dogs. Now there is, as I say, a little bit of story compared to last time. As you go around and you gather up each feather, uh, you'll get a little bit of dialogue playback about one of the, uh, the memories that's kind of going on. Uh, you pretty much start off in this open area and you're going to be surrounded by lots of dog, dog statues. So straight away, ahead of you, you'll see the first feather that you need to fly through and grab it. There are a grand total of 10 in this level. Start off by heading to the right and between the houses you'll find the next one. You want to take a right and go over the top of the trees. You're going to start making your way across the cliff. And as you come forward, you're going to see a very large statue of a dog just in front of you. Uh, and in between the large statue and the small statue is your next feather. And from here you want to take a slight left and you want to start making your way up the hillside. Uh, and you want to go over the top of the snowman that's in front of you. And at the top is another small dog statue that is looking after a, another feather. And then from that statue, take a left and you want to start making your way down to the house. And on the right hand side of the building, there is the next one. And then from here, you want to pull up and you want to take a right and you're going to go back over the top of the cliff. And you want to continue straight forward and you'll see another statue of a dog in front of you, something of terrier. And you want to grab that statue, uh, the statue, the feather that is just directly in front of you. Continue out of that gap between the cliff and on ever so slightly on the left hand side, you'll see feather number seven ahead of you. Once you've taken that one you want to keep following the cliff around. You want to make your way past this kind of French bulldog statue uh, and you want to keep following the cliff to the left. And as you're coming down on the water, you're going to see feather number eight, just ever so slightly on the right hand side down at the bottom. Fly down and you want to grab that one and you want to pull up. You want to go to the left and you want to keep following the cliff face around again. Eventually you're just going to come up on this uh, opening and there's a large statue of another dog just here. You're going to head down into the middle and you're going to get feather number 9 uh, between the cliff faces. And once you've got that one you want to pull up ever so slightly and you want to start making your way back into the main area. As you're coming around you want to hang right around the actual mountainside just here. Uh, and at the top you will find the next feather. This will finish the first level of the game, Snow Dogs, and now you're going to go on to the castle. Okay, so we are now in the level called the castle. There is a grand total of nine feathers to grab in this area. Uh, it's a fairly quick one altogether. So once you've got control of area, the bird, the first feather is straight across the drawbridge in front of you. Sorry, not drawbridge, the just general bridge. Uh, fly it along and eventually you're gonna come across feather number one of nine. From there you want to go under the next archway and you want to pull up. As you come over the top of the wall and straight ahead of you, you're on ever so slightly on the right, you're going to see the next feather. You want to grab that one, make your way to the right of this church style building and then down in the graveyard below you will see feather number three. So swoop down and grab that one. And you want to pull up as you come up over the wall, 
you want to head down and you want to head to the left and as you follow this around to the left you are going to find your next feather just behind the castle walls. From there take a right and you want to head out to the foresty style little outcrop at sea and fly over the top of the trees and over the top of the house and down on the other side of the house you're going to find feather number five. Grab this one, go between the trees and take a left and you want to follow the edge of the castle all the way around. And eventually you're going to come across the bridge that you just flew across over the top of a second ago. And you're going to want to keep going straight for a little bit in this section. Uh, and as you come back towards the area where you spawned in, kind of start to swoop down and you see by the tree just over here, you're going to find feather number six. Just ahead of you there will be a school bus. So grab that feather, take an ever slight, so slightly right and you want to keep following the water around past the school bus and you'll eventually come across some boats you then want to fly up and over the trees and ever so slightly to the left uh, and you want to keep going up towards the windmill and you're going to find feather number seven just here and you want to take a right and you want to head out to sea and as you come down you're going to see a feather just above the water that you want to grab on the right hand side here by the boat and then you want to take a left and then your final one is underneath the bridge ahead. Once you've grabbed this one, this is going to complete the level called the castle. And I think I okay, so now we're heading into the level called chess planes. This is again, it's another relatively quick level. Uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning, there are a grand total of 15 levels. The game takes you roughly one hour to beat. Uh, it's really not hard at all, uh, unless you've got terrible dexterity. So, in this one, uh, I believe there is either nine or 10 feathers to start off with. Uh, pretty much like every other level from the beginning, you just kind of want to go straight forward. On this one, you want to head slightly to the right and you want to go up, and we're going to start making our way towards this big chest piece on the right and you want to fly up to the top of this chest piece and on top of that one you are going to find feather number one and that is the first feather of the level you want to then head down and straight ahead of you is feather number two this is feather two out of ten from here make your way around the large chest piece and you want to keep following the water edge right the way around and you will see feather number three just ahead of you Swoop on down and you want to grab that feather, feather number three, and you want to take a right and you want to follow the wall around and you want to keep hugging it until you get towards some more rocks. And as you come across these rocks, you're going to see some small chest pieces out in the, the background. Uh, and right to, to, to the left of these small chest pieces, you're going to find collectible number four. And you want to keep following the rocks forward and you want to keep hugging left as you come up to the section just here. And you keep following it forward and keep going around above the water. It's a little way to the next collectible, uh, but keep sticking and following the rocks around. And eventually you're going to end up back in the main area where you started all of this. And you see just ahead of you on the left hand side, there is a feather just down here. So swoop down, it's by the bridge and the pier. You want to grab that one that is just in front of you, that's number five. From this one, you want to take a ever so slight right and then just out in the open by this fallen over chest piece, you're going to find collectible number six. From there, you want to take a left and you'll start making your way towards the tall chest piece just here. And you'll take a little left and then down between the trees, you're going to find collectible number seven. Once you've got that, you want to take a left and you want to head through the trees. And you want to keep flying above the area and you'll go across the top of a crossroad. And by that crossroad is feather number eight. 
Once you have that one, you want to pull left a little bit and you want to keep following the path. And as you come down to the end of the path, there'll be a bridge which you want to fly over the top of. Sorry, fly to the left of. And you want to keep following the river around and you're going to see this fallen over rook chess piece. Go underneath the rook and you're going to find feather number nine. And you want to take a quick left and you want to fly up and you want to grab a feather number 10. Okay, so now we're going to head over into Samurai Heights and in Samurai Heights there is a bit of a new feature. Some feathers will appear later, some feathers will disappear later. So that was a bit strange. I'm not sure if it's random, but for Brennan and myself it was exactly the same all the way through. So fingers crossed that it is the same pattern for you. If not, they will be in the same locations. So you pretty much start off as always in the beginning and you want to fly straight forward and feather number one is directly ahead of you. So this is feather number one of nine and you want to take a left immediately as you've got that one and on top of the houses on the left hand side you'll find feather number two and you want to follow that to the right keeping to the cliff edge uh, and eventually you will see feather number three appear directly ahead of you between the two lion statues. Grab that one. Pull up and take a sharp right and fly over the big red building. And then you will head down towards the water for feather number four. Well, there's no water, sorry. The big cave. Pull up and take a left. And you will head across over the red bridge and past the golden Buddha. And in this frothy water section, you're going to find feather number five. Turn around from here with an ever so slight right and you want to follow the cliff face until you hit some stairs and there is a uh, Buddha and a feather inside this cavern on the left hand side. Number six, you want to grab that. Uh, we crash here and get respawned because it's very difficult to slow down and get out of that area. Once you've got that one, so fly back into the main area if you've crashed. And as you come back into the main area, take a slight right and then the red houses on your left hand side, between those you will find feather number seven. So swoop down and you wanna give that one a grab. And once you've got that, you wanna pull up, take a left, and then you'll head back towards where you entered the area and on the left hand side of the archway, you will find feather number eight. From there, pull up and turn to the right and get back into the main area. And you can see just in the middle over here by this little kind of garden area, that is feather number nine. Sweep down and grab that one and we are done with this level. Okay, so now we're gonna head into the level called the Floating Forest. And you can do these levels in any order. It doesn't really matter. You can pick at any point from the map, you just navigate around. Um, we started on the snow dog level, but that's we followed the order of the achievements versus actually following the flow of the map. Uh, and then we kind of correct ourselves from there onwards. So this level has 12 feathers in total, uh, and this is called the floating forest. Uh, and as always from the beginning, once you get into the level and you want to kick started off, uh, pretty much straight ahead of you, straight away, on your right hand side, you're going to spot your first feather. Take a quick right and grab it off the top of the rock. And once you have that one, you want to take a left, you want to go over the trees, and then you want to continue down, and you want to grab a feather from the pool just over here, number two. Fly up to the floating rocks just ahead of you, and then on the left-hand side, you want to keep to the left of the rocks, and by the tree, you'll find feather number three. And then you want to fly around to the right, and you'll keep staying above the rock that you're on, and you want to fly over the rocks and the trees just here. And you want to continue straight forward, and down below you're going to see the next feather, which is number four. From feather number four, you want to fly across to this small floating island just ahead of you. And then on the other side of here, you'll find feather number five. Pull up a little bit, and then you want to head down and ever so slightly to the right, and you're going to find feather number six between the two trees. And straight ahead of you from that one, there is feather number seven between more trees. You pull up and take a bit of a right, and then there is feather number eight ahead of you again between even more trees. What a surprise. From here, take a right between the trees, and then you want to drop down between the archway. A little bit tricky this one, but that's feather number nine. 
And down in this garden section, you want to make your way across to the opposite side. Uh, and you'll find underneath one of the floating islands, feather number 10. Follow the ledge around to the left and kind of turn back into the center. Go past the trees and fly over the top and you'll see some other birds kind of going around. And then under another rock archway, you're going to find feather number 11. Pull up, take a slight right. And then you want to fly over the trees, look to the left, and then ahead you'll find feather number 12 and that will finish this level for you. So we're now entering a level called The Space, uh, which is a bit of a bigger level. Um, you're pretty much, as you gather, out into space. So, yep, you're at a space station uh, and all the feathers are scattered around in this area. Okay, so start off by flying forward into this area and on the first space station on the second ring you're going to find feather number one. Head into the middle and then you want to pull up above the second ring and you keep flying straight forward from here from the previous feather and you're going to find feather number two of ten just directly in front of you. Once you have that one you want to do a sharp left turn and you want to start flying towards this kind of floating little rocky looking outcrop just in front of you. Uh, and on top of that one, you're going to find feather number three. Continue straight on from that feather and you want to head over the rocky outcrop that you were just on. And you want to start to fly down towards this circular ring just in front of you. And as you get close, you will see a collectible. So once you've grabbed the feather from that ring, you then want to turn around to your right ever so slightly and you'll start flying towards the, the kind of the planets that you see out in the distance. And as you're flying through this area and you get closer through the asteroid belt, eventually you're going to come up across a piece of metal amongst these asteroids. And as you get closer and top of the spaceship, you're going to see a oh, this piece of scrap metal as I referred to earlier. On top of there, you're going to find the next feather, feather number five. You want to fly through that one and grab it. And you want to continue to the right and you want to start flying towards what would look like Earth. I'm not sure if it's Earth or not, but head that way. And you'll find just floating out in the middle of space between the Circle Space Station from earlier and this spaceship on the left and whatever the junk is, uh, you'll find the next feather, number six. From here, take a slight left and you want to start making your way over to the spaceship. As you come up on the spaceship on the kind of right hand side at the top, you're going to find Collectible number seven, take a right and you want to start flying to what looks like satin, uh, ever so slightly to the right there. And eventually as you get close enough you're going to start to see a 
feather on top of one of the spaceships that's floating out in the open. Once you've got that one, take a sharp right and head back to the Circle Space Station and just above that on one of the floating things you're going to find collectible number 9, it's above one of the stations. Grab this one, you're going to fly through the circle ring that you've got ahead of you and you want to head down through the space station and on the very base on the right hand side you're going to find feather number 10 and that's going to complete this level. Okay, and now we're heading into a level called Western Town. Western Town has a grand total of 12 collectibles that need to be found, so 12 feathers. And it kind of reminds me of one of the levels in the previous game. So right off the bat, feather number one is directly in front of you. You're just going to want to fly forward and you want to give that one a quick grab. That's number one of 12. Once you've done that, take a right and you want to follow the railroad, railroad track. And the next feather is in an ever so slightly tricky spot. Potentially you might crash here. Uh, but feather number two is underneath the railway bridge. Go underneath it, you want to pull up a little bit and you want to follow the railway tracks again. And on top of the train at the end of the railway track, you're going to find feather number three. Grab that one and you want to keep making your way forward to the end of the train and at the end of the train you're going to find feather number four. Once you've got that one, keep following your track and keep hanging a left as you're going around. So the track's quite a good useful guide in this level, should you ever get lost. Now follow the cliff to the left as you get the opportunity to and you're going to find collectible number five between the rock pillars. Keep going forward and then to the right you're going to see a train. Above that train is collectible number six. You're going to grab in that one. Then you're going to take a right by the town center and you're going to head to the back of the train that you just kind of flew over and you're going to find feather number seven. Take a left from that one immediately and on top of the rock pillar ahead you're going to find feather number eight. Once you have feather number eight, you're going to take a left and you're going to fly back in towards the town. As you come into this area, you're going to see feather number nine just by this kind of stairwell here. Give that one a grab. You head over to what looks like a saloon and on top of that, you're going to find number 10. Directly ahead of you, you're going to find number 11 in a cow shed. Take a right and you're going to fly over to the church for feather number 12. Okay, so now we are heading into level number eight, which is called Pirate Bay. So in this one, we've got a few more collectibles than normal. We've actually got 14 to hit up this time. However, it's still reasonably fast. It doesn't take too long to get it done. And it's pretty much a case of flying around again, as you know. Okay, so let's get this one on the road. And straight off the bat, you pretty much just want to straight, straight forward go to the right of the trees that are in front of you and we'll start making your way across to the island on the right hand side uh, and across over on the rocks we're going to fly down a little bit close to the water and you're going to find feather number one pull up from here take a right and then feather number two is just by the ship just here the shipwreck grab that one take a left from here and you want to fly towards the rocks in the distance Okay, and eventually you're going to come up across the castle, which you want to fly into. You're going to head down, you want to grab the feather from the bottom. You want to fly up as much as you can. For some reason the bird rotates around as you fly up. But on one of the castle pillars in the center, you're going to find another feather. That's number four. From here, you want to head out of the castle and you want to head down. And you want to follow the castle's edge around.
And what you'll find here that is actually um, the outside of the castle in a square shaped kind of building. Feather number five is in between those pillars. Once you've got that, you want to head out towards the island that is opposite the castle. And you're going to make your way across. And as you come into this area, you want to start to fly down and you want to grab the feather that is by the front of the building. Once you've got that, go past the building, go over the top of the trees. And you want to keep flying out to do more trees that are in the water. You're going to go past these and you're going to see these little rocks that are in the distance that you want to start making your way towards. And as you get closer, you're going to see your next feather that is by the sunken ship. Grab that one that's number seven, pull up and you want to turn to the left and you're going to head to the island that is directly ahead of you. Okay, and as you get closer to the rock on the left hand side, you're going to find feather number eight. Grab that one. You're going to fly into the little village just here, and straight ahead, you're going to find feather number nine between the houses. Grab that one. You're going to pull up, make your way across to the boats, and the boat on the left is going to have feather number 10. So grab that one. From the boats, you want to take a right uh, and kind of turn around, and you want to go to the island that is opposite the boats. As you come in here, as you can see on the left hand side as you come into the beach, this is feather number 11. Pick this one up, directly ahead of you from feather number 11, you'll find feather number 12. Once you've got that, you want to pull up and you want to go past the boat and it sails. And you'll continue forward in a straight line from here. As you come up on the gap between the rocks, you want to take a bit of a left. You want to fly into this area here where this kind of like uh, Moroccan style building is. Underneath the canopy you're going to find feather number 13, pull up and then straight ahead of you you'll find feather number 14 above the fountain. This is going to beat the level that is called Pirate Bay. And now into the level called the Mountain. And this one has a grand total of 11 feathers altogether. Again, fairly straightforward. I don't think there isn't a level that isn't straightforward in this, but there are a total of 11 feathers in this one. Okay, so pretty much start off by heading into the valley. And you want to follow the river down and as you're coming down you're going to see a bridge just in front of you and you want to ignore that bridge and you're going to go over the log and just ahead of you you can see it above the river right now is your first feather number one out of 11 is on the bridge over the stream grab it and once you've grabbed that one you want to head to the left ever so slightly and to your left on top of the rocks you're going to see feather number two make your way up to that and grab that one Once you have feather number two, keep turning around and you want to kind of backtrack into the area where you just flew from uh, and you want to go back past the bridge. And feather number three is by this little farm which is by the stone hills. Immediately take a left and you want to head into this area and you want to keep following the edge of the stream down. And as you're coming down, you're going to see in front of you some more houses. As you're coming up on these houses, there is a feather between them. So swoop down and you want to grab that one, which is feather number four. Once you have that one, head over the building just on the left hand side. You'll see straight ahead of you on the left, number five. Straight ahead of you on the left makes no sense. Once you've got that, pull up a little bit and take a slight right and you want to go over the trees and past the campsite. Number six is directly ahead of you. Once you have that one, you want to turn it around and you want to head it back into the main area. And you want to fly straight but follow the right hand wall between that and the lake. And ahead of you, you'll eventually see feather number seven. 
fly down and grab that one off the grass in front of you. Once you have this one, you want to take a left and you want to go over the lake and in the opposite corner, just to the left of the farm that we picked up the feather number three from, you'll see feather number eight has now appeared. As you grab feather number eight, you want to turn around and you want to make your way back to the river, following into the area where you first started, and by the bridge where you picked up feather number one, on top of a rock just before that bridge, you're going to find feather number nine. Once you pick this one up, you want to turn to the right, and you want to head back into the main area. Uh, this feather is just about visible ahead of you, it's on the lake itself, uh, that is feather number 10. So fly down to the lake and on the island in the middle you will find it. Once you have this, pull up ever so slightly and you want to take a slight right and you want to fly over uh, the rocks and the kind of bridges that you've got here uh, and feather number 11 is on the right hand side at the back of this area. Okay, and the next level is called Snow Village. And in the Snow Village, there is a grand total of 12 feathers that, that we will need to obtain on this one. Again, as always, it's a little bit easier. This is level number 10 out of 15, so we're getting close to the end now. Roughly, I'd say the game takes about the hour to hour and 20 minutes to kind of beat all together. But you'll be bagging the achievements as you go along and you pick up all the feathers along the way. None of the achievements are actually missable if you play the game through. So we're going to start off by heading over the water, take a slight left and on front of you, you are going to find feather number one. When you have that, look to the castle on the right and you want to fly up to this one. And on top of one of the towers, you are going to find feather number two. You can probably already see where we're going to go next. So once you have that one, you want to take a left and you want to drop down to the water's edge and directly in front of you is feather number three. Take a right from this feather and you want to just follow the flatland across and directly ahead of you there is feather number four, just between some trees and two large rocks. Once you have that, look to your right and you'll see a castle in the distance and something that I thought was a boat in the beginning. Uh, but fly over the, the boat-like thing, which is actually a rock and two trees. And you'll find feather number five just in the field here. Grab that one. And then ever so slightly to the right in the distance, you'll see feather number six. Fly over and grab that one as well. Continuing straight on from number six, fly forward and you're going to find Feather number seven, just ever so slightly on the right hand side. Once you have this one, pull up a little bit and look to the right and you're gonna find feather number eight between the trees on top of the rock. From this one, look to your right and you'll see the tower-like thing from earlier. Uh, and the distance and you can see feather number nine is beneath the tower and between the uh, underneath the archway so fly down through the archway grab feather number nine swoop out of the other side take a right and we want to start heading towards the the first tower of the game and as you come up into this area you'll come up to a, uh, a kind of a small village and you want to head into the small village and down in the town square area you're going to find feather number 10 Swoop down there and grab that one. Pull up, and then you want to look to the castle that is on the far side, the far top right hand corner if you were entering the area, left from the village. 
to start flying across to this one. And as you're coming up on that castle, you want to fly over the rock and you want to take a right, do a barrel roll at the same time if you're feeling like it. Take a right and you want to fly into this castle and inside castle you're going to find feather number 11. Give it a quick grab, fly out the other side and then we want to head to the right ever so slightly as you come out and the next feather is directly ahead of you. Uh, it's a little bit of a flight away but feather number 12 will be visible to you in the distance it's just by the houses over there and you want to head over and grab that one to finish this level Okay, so the next uh, level on our list is called The Island, and this has got 13 feathers in it all together. This is level number 11. We're getting close to the end now. You're looking at about another kind of 20 to 15 minutes before this is over. Okay, so we want to kickstart this level as always at the beginning, and pretty much fly straight forward, and on the rocks on the left hand side, you are going to find feather number one. After feather number one, down between the Stonehenge looking thing, you're going to find feather number two. You want to quickly grab that. And you're going to fly to the right ever so slightly and you're going to find above the palm tree ahead of you. This is feather number three. And then as you go slightly to the right, you want to head over to the island that's got the two rocks just ahead of you. As you get closer, you're going to start to realize that there is a, another feather nearby and that is down in between the rocks. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is a level that is in the first game, I believe. Once you have that one, you wanna fly forward and you wanna make your way over to the palm trees. And then on top of those palm trees, there is the next collectible. This is number five. Straight ahead of you is a, another version of Stonehenge. Fly down between that one and you wanna grab feather number six. Once you have that, you wanna take a right and you look over these kind of little summer huts that are down there and you're going to come across a pier as you make your way down to the pier you want to grab feather number seven and directly to your right you can see it already there is feather number eight which is underneath the tower once you've grabbed this you want to take a right and you want to head out to sea and you want to head over to the rock uh, that is on the right hand side of that last tower and you'll find feather number nine on top Okay, and once you've done that, you want to start making your way towards the rock just ahead of you. And you want to take a left around this rock. As you head down to the water, you're going to find feather number 10. Once you've got this, you want to head into the island and you want to head over the top of the trees. And you'll find feather number 11 just on a rock on the island. Take a right and you're going to fly out to the island in the distance and you'll be able to see the feather on the beach just ahead of you. Once you have that feather, feather pull it up and you want to turn roughly about 180 degrees around and you want to start flying back towards the main island. As you come back into the island above the rocks you are going to find the next feather and it's the last level of this level, feather number 13. And on to the next. Okay, so now we are entering level number 12, which is Urban Life. Uh, and in this one, there is several feathers that also need to be collected. What a surprise. 
uh, but we're getting close to the end now, so there's not much, m not much longer left. So it's level number 12 out of 15. Uh, things get a little bit relatively quicker in the next few levels. This is about 10 more minutes really, probably remaining on the video. Okay, so we're gonna kickstart this one off and we wanna fly forward and we wanna make our way across to the boats. On top of the boat, you're gonna find a feather on the freight containers. Take a left as you come off of the boat and make your way over to the blue one. As you get close to the blue one, on top of the chimney stack, you're gonna find the feather number two out of 12. Now that you have this one, you wanna take a right and you wanna make your way over to what looks like a science kind of station. And as you're flying in closer, on the left-hand side, you're gonna find number feather number three which is by some form of power plant on the helipad. So swoop down and grab that one. Once you have that, pull up ever so slightly and you'll take a right and you wanna follow the trees around behind the power plant. And you're eventually gonna find feather number four in amongst the field, amongst the trees. Now you are on a huge ship and about to cross the ocean. Okay, once you have that, head over the trees, you wanna to stay to the right and you're going to see the wind farm just ahead of you. You'll make your way over to the wind farm and just between the two windmills you are going to find the next feather which is number five. Pick that one up and you want to keep going straight forward. It's a little bit tough to see here because of the bright white that's kind of going on in the area. And you're going to come across the radioactive power plant, I think, or the coolant tower. And inside the coolant tower is feather number six. I'm going to take a slight left and start making your way towards the other power plant that's in the distance. And you can find feather number seven to the left on the helipad yet again. Once you've got that, you're going to pick that one up and you're going to turn to the right around the back of the power plant. As you come out here, you want to head towards the water's edge and you'll start flying straight forward. Now on your left there should be an oil rig, but on top of this little statue just here, structure, there's feather number eight. Continue forward on top of the building that's ever so slightly to the right, next to the uh, nuclear power plant reactors again, or the coolant towers. You're gonna find feather number nine down at the bottom. Once you've got that, you're gonna pull up and you're gonna head to the left, and you're gonna go over to the blue boat. In the middle of the blue boat you're gonna find feather number 10. Pick this one up. Once you've got that you want to fly up towards the oil rig that is in front of you. And on top of that you're gonna find feather number 11. You're gonna take a right and you're gonna kind of dip down underneath towards the, the bottom of the oil rig. And you're gonna fly underneath this one for feather number 12. This is now going to take you across to level number 13. Okay, so we are now entering level number 13, which is called Warzone, and we have a grand total of 14 feathers to find in this one. And we'll start off by spawning in the level inside the floor, because why not? Okay, so once we're in, Straight ahead of you, straight away on the road, you'll see feather number one. Just follow it across and you want to go over and grab that one. Now follow that road down and eventually you're going to cross feather number two. So this one is just directly in the middle of the road, like just the last one. And give that one a grab. Once you've got that, you want to pull up a little bit and you're going to head ever so slightly to the left. You want to fly over the red container. And directly in front of you above what looks to be a bus is feather number three. Keep going straight from there and you're going to see feather number four directly ahead of you, directly by a rock and some barbed wire. Pick that up and turn to the right slightly and by the containers you're going to find feather number five. Take a little bit of a right past the windmills and feather number six is on the back on top of a junked up car. Once you have that one you want to take a left and you'll look to the top of the container, the red container, by the windmills, and you'll find feather number seven. Follow this around, and you're gonna head back down to the main street, and feather number eight is now appeared on the main road. So swoop down and grab that one. 
And while staying low to the floor, you want to take a right and you want to go through the red container and you want to go out the other side. And you're going to pick up feather number nine. Take a left as you come out and you want to start making your way back to where we started. And by the blue windmill, you're going to find feather number 10, which is above some more junk up cards. Take a left and cross over the road to the other side and head back towards the town. On the right hand side of the bottom right hand corner of the town, you're going to find feather number 11. From that one, you want to take a left and you want to head back into the town. You're going to fly across towards the middle and above the containers, you're going to find feather number 12. Look to your left and above the hangers, you're going to find feather number 13. And from that one, you want to fly outwards and kind of go back towards where you first started. And above the cactuses in the middle near the start of the level, you're going to find feather number 14. This is going to finish this level off for you and get the necessary achievements for Warzone. Okay, so the next level is now called Circus or the Circus and there are a grand total of nine feathers for you to collect in this area. Nice and a bit of a quick one right before the last level of the game, so this is the penultimate one. So once you spawn in, as always, fly forwards. Okay, so straight ahead of you as you come forward, you're going to find a feather above what looks to be like a clunky pumpkin. Pick that one up, take a right, and you want to follow around and you'll see on the windmill with reaper things, feather number two. Take a left and fly away from that one and you want to follow the wall and you want to head over towards the main path and you'll find feather number three just down here. From there you want to pull upwards and go past this witch hat style thing and on top of, I think it's a circus tent, on top of that circus tent you're going to find feather number four. Make your way across the other side you want to go through this kind of like cage and this is feather number five. As you come outside here you want to look to your left and you're going to find a skeleton and you want to fly all the way up to the top of that and you grab feather number six. You want to head around to the back of that and you want to head down towards the, the ground and you want to stay left and follow the wall around. You'll come across a wagon and on top of the wagon is feather number seven. Take a left from here and then go over the top of the pumpkin from earlier uh, and you'll see on top of the pillar just here feather number eight. I'm going to grab that one. And once you have this one, continue straight forward and down and you'll find feather number nine. And that is the end of the creepy circus level. Okay, and now onto the final level, which is called level, the level is called The End, appropriately named because it is the last level in the game. Level 15 also has a grand total of 15 feathers for you to find. This is the most in any level that we've got going throughout. So pretty much kickstart it off and go forward as always. Okay, and to kickstart this one, we pretty much just fly into the level and above the go-go sign, you're gonna find feather number one. Follow the road down and stay to the left. And you're gonna find feather number two along the way by what looks to be a tent. As you come out here, you wanna take the road round to the left. Uh, and as you come to the end of the road, after taking a left, you want to head out a little bit and then turn around 180. And your next feather is between the houses. By the tree, take a right and you want to pull up. You want to head out back to the main street and above the lamppost is feather number four. Look to your left and feather number five is on top of the building. And then directly ahead of you on the triangle, you'll find feather number six. You want to turn to the left and you want to make your way over to what looks like an observatory and feather number seven is on the corner of the building. Take a right and you'll head over to the tall triangle building in the bottom right hand corner of the map and that's feather number eight. Take a left from this one and you want to fly back into the main town street and between a clock tower and the observatory you'll find feather number nine and straight ahead feather number ten. Once you've got those you want to head to the right and you'll go between another clock tower observatory style thing and above the trees you'll find feather number 11. Continue down back to the main road and you'll find feather number 12. Take a left and then come back onto the main road. Apologies, this is quite a quick level. And then on one of the towers you're going to find feather number 13. 
head out to one of the tall clock towers back to back in the bottom right hand corner of the map and on front of that you're going to find feather number 14 of that clock tower turn around and you're going to head back towards the center as you come back into the center you're going to find feather number 15 on top of one of the observatory style towers that's the full game for you 100% complete all achievements i've been jessica Ed from the achievement squad and the footage is from iBrennan. We hope you find the guide useful. Drop us a like, comment and subscribe and happy hunting.